Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records, and we're talking the Morgan Whalen show last night in Oxford, Mississippi, that was canceled. He didn't show up to the show. So Morgan Whalen is on a stadium tour. He's doing multiple nights in stadiums, two nights at Wrigley Field, two nights at Ford Field in Detroit, um, St. Louis, Bush Stadium, two nights. And he played Oxford uh, at the University of Mississippi, or Old Miss, uh, Saturday night and Sunday night, but he no shows last night. So they play. I had friends that went Saturday night. He then th they have a second show. This is at the football stadium where the Old Miss Rebels play football. The gates open. The opening act plays. And then right before he's scheduled to go on stage, a statement comes on the video board. After last night's show, and I'm reading this, after last night's show, I started losing my voice. So I spent the day resting up, talking to my doctor and working through my vocal exercises, trying to get better. Um, Whalen said in a statement via social media before a scheduled performance at fought Hemingway Stadium. I really thought I'd be able to take the stage and it kills me to deliver this so close to showtime, but my voice is shot and I am unable to sing. All tickets will be refunded at point of purchase. I am so sorry, I promise you guys I tried everything I could. Couple things. At what point in the day do you know that you can't perform? Do you know prior to the opening act going on that you cannot make this show? And if that opening act is on stage, are you even, are you in the building? If you're in the building, should you, at that point, now let's keep in mind what, Oxford, Mississippi is an hour south of Memphis, and the town is about 10 to 15,000 people living in Oxford, maybe another 15,000 students. I actually attended school there. Um, so people are traveling to see you. People are coming from Memphis. People are coming up from Jackson. People are coming from uh, Arkansas and 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 you know Western Tennessee. And all, you know they're coming in town. They're getting the babysitter. They're getting the dog sitter. They're getting the hotels. They're in the building. They're in the stadium. They watch the opening act, and you put that on the video screen. Do I believe that he lost his voice? I don't know. Are there rumors that he was out partying the, the night before till late in the evening, till late in the morning, early in the morning? I don't know. I've heard some things. What can you do to at least show, yes, we're gonna refund the tickets. Of course we're gonna refund the tickets. Could you have gone on stage and played piano and played guitar and let your fantastic band that props you up every night perform and give it everything you have to make these people that come to this show somewhat satisfied and still refund their money like Luke Combs has done before. You know, I've seen shows where I've seen the who where Pete Townsend could barely talk, but he of course isn't the main singer, but he doesn't cancel the show. You know, at what point do you have to cancel the show? We're canceling shows here. Let's go a step beyond. If you live in the Midwest or the Northern United States and school gets called off when there's, you know, not even an inch of snow on the ground or it's supposed to get bad outside and they say, ah, we're just gonna call school off. Two weeks ago, we had a bad thunderstorm here in St. Louis and we were strongly encouraged to go home for work at one o'clock in the afternoon because it was just easier just to cancel it than deal with any kind of adversity. You know, I don't know. I, I, I've, I've been in spots where I need to perform um, with my band and maybe I was out late the night before and it's tough. I'm 50, Morgan Whalen's 29, you know. Was he partying in Oxford till 4.30 in the morning? 
allegedly may have been. You know, refund the money. Show up to the show. Take a shot of adrenaline or, you know, do everything you can. Address the audience. Say, listen, I can't talk, but I'm going to give you what I got. I'm going to give you an hour. I'm going to give you an hour and a half. I'm going to do anything I can. All oh, those other guys know those songs. They could play any number of different songs. Instead, they just had everybody go home furious. And it's bull crap. You have to, you have to deliver, you know, this isn't a club. This isn't a bar. This is a stadium tour. You're 11 shows into your tour and you're canceling shows. You know, you're not a high octane singer to begin with. Why are you losing your voice 11 shows into a tour when you aren't, you know, a trained singer in a sense that you're straining your vocals that much? You know, is he really even singing anyway? I I, I don't know. And I, I get, I'm kind of coming to some conclusions here. I think it's sad. I think it's uh, easy to cancel. I think people are used to being canceled on. I've had bands cancel on me. And, uh, you know, you lose respect there. Uh, I'm sure he lost some fans. I'm sure some people don't care. I'm sure there's most people do care. And, uh, yeah, you just can't do that. Anyway, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching my shows. We do a show every day. Check it out. Um, peace out. We'll talk later.